here's all your controls, your solar control, your battery charge panel. So lots of nice gauges. Front storage compartment behind the Murphy bed. You still got pass-through storage. It's not that much on a Murphy, but usually on a Murphy you don't get any. And then these storage doors are a little thick too. Uh, independent suspension, built on tire chucks. And then you got your sewer hose storage underneath there. Uh, Goodyear Wrangler tires. And we got this one obviously stored inside right now, so it hasn't been out in the elements as much. Uh, flat cooktop griddle by Capital. Little portable fridge. And then for stabilizers, you got the Lippert Quick Drops. Those are new. And moving around here in the back, you got a roof ladder. That's for a telescoping Lippert ladder that hooks onto that, prep for a backup observation camera. Oh, and then you have an access door here for the bunks. And also you have a receiver hitch for storage. Um, you got all your water control valves, black tank flush. It's got the simple hot water heater bypass system valve so you don't have to fiddle with opening panels up on the inside. Um, outdoor shower, you got a tire pressure monitor sensor and a battery disconnect switch. And then up front here you got the big storage compartment and you got adjustable on your coupler there and then you also have your power single leg tongue jack. That's pretty fancy. Oh, let me show you inside quick. So inside front couch, you got your uh, stargazer window up on top. Uh, Euro window is actually an insulated window. And you got your regular screen or your blackout shade, um, and that does pop open. Murphy bed. Couch folds down here. Remember hardware, this is all thick, nice wood. This latch is a simple slam latch, but it's heavy duty. Bed folds out, folds into sleep mode, goes all the way. And then when it's time to go, or you guys want a place to sit, this folds up right there, and you got a little cup holder. Also, I have a table adapter here for a little table that sits up in front of there for like TV dinner table, whatever you want to call it. Um, insulated window over there as well. Insulated windows all around actually. Dinette will drop to a bed. Storage underneath. And there's that table leg and table as mentioned. And then under this side must be utilities. That side doesn't open. And that, from that back door you have some D-ring tie downs. This here folds up so you can put bikes in here or whatever you need. And then there's your telescoping ladder for the mount I showed you on the back. Uh, double bunks, so a lot bigger bunks. Adults can sleep on them. And you got a big 12 volt fridge here. Looks like a 10 cubic foot. Uh, two burner stove, no oven. Stainless seal round, big deep round sink. And just a regular old microwave up here. And obviously AC, furnace, water heater. And there's a shot of the bathroom for you. Porcelain toilet. Medicine cabinet. Aquaview shower, shower miser, so that'll tell you when your water's warm. That little blue deal there will turn red when it starts getting hot. Max air fan in the bathroom to help pull that moisture out. My cameraman standing in the shower, and he's about six foot, plenty of room. Lots of storage in a, in a single axle trailer this small. You usually don't get any type of storage up in the slide out. Again, in this type of trailer, you usually don't get blackout pull down shades. Ember uses white so it doesn't attract as much heat. 
Uh, big storage under here. And if I'm not mistaken, this one does has the has the Truma Combi Plus, so on-demand water heater and furnace all in one. Well, if you're familiar with motorhomes, that's usually on motorhomes, more expensive water heater furnace combo.